hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix there is a problem with this windows installer package error in windows 11 10 8 and 7 let's fix it guys method one is to run the setup file as administrator to do this you just need to right click on it and select run as administrator and select yes and check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved, let's mod the method 2 guys. Method 2 is to ensure Windows installer service is running. To check that, go to search menu and type services. Click on open it. In services, you just need to find Windows installer service. Just double click on it. If the service status is stopped, then you just need to select start and select apply and ok for save changes now you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the method 3 guys method 3 is to re register the windows installer service to do this go to search menu and type cmd right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select yes now check my video description for this command used in my video. Just copy and paste it one by one. After finishing these both commands, you just need to close stuff here. And try to run the installer again and check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's mod the method 4 guys. Method 4, go to search menu and type run. Click on open it type temp temp click on ok go back to windows right click on the temp folder select properties select security tab select edit option select add type here everyone e v e r y o n e click on check names select ok Make sure it is checked in full control and select OK and click on OK and close stuff here. Now go to search menu again and type run, click on open it. This time type percentage temp percentage, click on OK to open up. Now go back to local, right click on the temp folder, select properties, select security tab, select edit, select add type here everyone click on check names select ok after selecting the everyone you just need to make sure the full control is checked over here and after that click on ok click on ok now you can try running the installer again and check if the problem solved or not i hope one of these method fixed your problem if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you